The Buddha teaches different levels of equanimity. There's ordinary, everyday equanimity when you just decide that you're not going to react to sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. And then there's the equanimity that begins with the fourth jhana. And finally, there's the equanimity that comes as a result of gaining release. Now, the first one, ordinary, everyday, everyday equanimity, is a foundation for the others. The sense that even before you sit down to meditate, you've got to tell yourself, okay, whatever comes up, I'm not going to react. I'm just going to watch it and then see what needs to be done. Because if you react too quickly, often you don't see what's actually happening. This is the kind of equanimity the Buddha was teaching to Rahula when he said to make your mind like earth. Make your mind like water, wind, fire. People throw disgusting things on the earth, but the earth doesn't react. Water washes disgusting things away, but the water doesn't react, and so on with the fire and the wind. You have to hold these images in mind. It's a fabricated kind of equanimity. It's in place because of your willpower. You just tell yourself, I'm not going to react. And even though this is not the ideal kind of equanimity, you need this in order to get the mind clear enough to settle down so it can move on to the higher levels of equanimity. So each time you sit down, just calm the mind. You say, well, I'm meditating, get the mind calm. Well, there's one level of calm you can just will yourself into. Try to keep the mind on an even keel as you settle down. Because you're mastering a skill, and a skill is going to require that you be clear-headed and not get upset when things go wrong. So try to make sure that you've got this equanimity mastered, the equanimity that says, I'm just not going to react. And use that as a preliminary. And then try to maintain it as best you can as you go through the day. Because whatever comes up, all kinds of things are going to come up. If you can keep reminding yourself, don't go with your reactions right away. Just look and see what's actually happening before you decide how to respond. You're going to save yourself a lot of grief. And then when the next time comes to meditate, you're ready. You've mastered this skill of trying to keep the mind calm regardless of whatever happens.